With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Our question is, we are given this reaction, chlorine when react with NaOH form NaCl, NaClO3 and water. The equivalent mass of chlorine Cl2 in the above reaction is what? So over here we are given this reaction and we are supposed to find out the equivalent mass of chlorine. Now what is equivalent mass? Equivalent mass is equal to molar mass divided by the n factor. Right? We over here are uh, asked the equivalent mass of chlorine. So we are going to find out the n factor for chlorine over here. Right? So we are going to write this reaction. We are given Cl2 with NaOH forms NaCl and NaClO and water. We are only concerned with chlorine. This is present in n elemental state so would have an oxidation state of 0. In this case sodium would have plus 1 so chlorine would have minus 1. In this case sodium would have plus 1 each oxygen would have minus 2. So what would be oxidation state of chlorine? Let it be x plus 1 and plus 3 into minus 2 for oxygen. This is equal to 0. So x comes out to be 6 minus 1 this is equal to plus 5. Over here we can see chlorine is going from 0 to minus 1 and from 0 to plus 5 right so same molecule same species is undergoing reduction as well as oxidation that means this is what this is our disproportionation reaction because the same species is undergoing oxidation as well as reduction right and what is oxidation and reduction? Oxidation is loss of electron and reduction is gain of electron. Right? Over here this is gaining electron, this is reduction. Over here it is losing electron, this is oxidation. So, we have to find out the change in oxidation number in both the cases or we can say the change in the number of electrons. Why? Because for disproportionation reaction, how we find out the n factor? Our n factor is 1 by n which is equal to 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2. Right? This is the n factor in case of reduction this is for the oxidation right so uh, in the case of reduction we are saying it is going from 0 to minus 1 but we have two chlorines over here right so there is change of total two electrons right for two chlorines because for one there is change of one electron so for two chlorines there is change of two electrons so n1 is what n1 is 2 and then n2 is this right there is change of five electrons for one chlorine but we have two chlorines so th this would be 10 right now we are supposed to find this this would be equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 10 so this comes out to be 10 right then this would be 5 plus 1 this would be 6 by 10 right so this would be equal to 3 by 5 1 by n is equal to 3 by 5 so n comes out to be 5 by 3 right so, uh, we are going to put this in our formula equivalent mass is equal to this. So, equivalent mass would be equal to molar mass n right divided by n factor. n factor is what 5 by 3. So, it would be 5 by 3. So, this would be equal to what 3 m by 5. So, this is what we have got the equivalent mass of chlorine right. So, if you look at our option m is not correct, m by 3 is not correct, m by 2 is not correct, 3 m by 5 is correct option. So, our answer is fourth. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.